Welcome to another episode of SVN Sailing, our series of sailing lessons. Today we want to talk about how to mourn stern to, that is Mediterranean mooring, but using an anchor. To shoot this video we came to our usual spot, Marina Cala dei Sardi in the northeast of Sardinia. As some of you may know, this is the home base of NSS Charter, the largest uh, charter company in Italy, and we come here because they are the ones who make available uh, the boats with which we shoot our videos. So without further ado, let's go see how to mer stern to using an anchor. We are now going to show you how to moor the boat stern to using an anchor. This is one type of med mooring. The other type is when you back into the berth, secure the stern lines, but then you use so-called lazy lines that they will give you and attach uh, these lines to the bows. This is a type of uh, mooring that is used mostly in private marinas. But in many ports, beside private marinas, you have public slots uh, where you use this a second type of mooring, the one that uses the anchor. Now there's good news and bad news. The good news is that these slots are free, you can stay for a couple of days, one, three, depending on the authority, uh, so that's a very good thing, but you have no assistance because they're free. So in this case we're going to simulate a situation in which there are only two people on board. We have with us a Simona Pasqua. Hi and Andre. Now, Simona Pasqua is a skipper with NSS Charter. Yes. And she also will be the man at the wheel. And Andre uh, will be uh, the man who will be managing the anchor and the lines once we are in the slot. Okay, so uh, having said that, uh, what do we do? Well, first of all, we have already toured the area. We have uh, verified the bottom. This is six meters of depth. And we have also looked at how the chains are laid out from the other boats. And in this case, they are straight in front of the boats. So we have to do the same because we, what we want to do is avoid uh, dropping our uh, anchor above somebody else's chain. Because that, of course, leads to countless problems. If we have a choice and there's lots of wind, it's best to drop your anchor a little bit on the windward side because that will help you uh, when you do the maneuver. Also, what do we do when we prepare the boat? Well, first of all, the fenders, we use all the fenders. If you have an extra fender, we place it on the windward side, and in this case, it would be the starboard side. Then we prepare the lines. We have uh, secured the lines to the cleat. They go outside uh, the rail and then back into the boat. And Simona has coiled them very nicely and prepared them so we are ready to take them ashore. In this case, uh, there is an excellent uh, spot where she has hung the line. And this will be our windward line. This is the line that you will be uh, securing first. Also, when do we start turning and how much chain do we uh, let out? First, uh, uh, the second question. In this case, the bottom is six meters. There's a rule in Italy that uh, you have to let out from three to five times uh, the depth. In England, strangely enough, it's four to six times. Um, that probably depends on the intensity of the wind. Yeah, in any case, sure. in this case, there is some wind. What, what are we going to do, Simona? Um, in this case, as the wind is roughly 10 knots, uh, I will lay it out uh, at least five times the depth. Okay. So, uh, extra tip, make sure you know how much anchor you have. That may be obvious in some cases, but if you have chartered a boat, then you may not really know. And if there's not enough anchor, you will come to a sudden stop and even risk breaking the windlass. Having said that, as you see, uh, Simona is starting to turn the boat. She has turned the boat when the bows was more or less in line with the bows of the catamaran. Okay, once she has aligned the boat uh, with our slot, she's going to stop the boat and then tell Andy to actually start Go. lowering the anchor. She has given the command and she has reversed the gear and the boat will start moving backwards. We are a little bit on the uh, leeward side, but Simona is uh, going to direct the boat in the right direction and make sure we are aligned with the berth. You can see how Simona has placed herself. She has placed herself sideways. 
In this way, she can look at the birth as we're backing into it, but at the same time, she can look at Andy and communicate with him. They are uh, calling the signals, but also that you're using hand signals they have agreed upon. That can be very useful because sometimes you don't hear very well what the other person is saying, and this way you make sure there is no misunderstanding. Now Andy is a rather expert sailor, and so he knows how much chain to uh, let out and the speed at which he has to do it. The important thing is that the chain is never, never in tension, because that will slow the boat or even stop it. We are approaching the berth. We're in a perfect position away from uh, both the two boats. Andy has come to the stern. He's getting ready to uh, step ashore and secure the windward line. Simona has uh, put the gear into forward, stops the boat, and when the distance is right, uh, then uh, Andy is going to jump. Okay, he's done it. Uh, uh, pass the boat uh, around the bollard because remember uh, we are using slip lines because we have no assistance. That will make it also easier both to uh, regulate how much lime we want to haul in but also to leave the berth when the time comes. Now as you can see the wind has begun pushing the bows towards the other boat and the chain is still slack so it's not really pulling us a lot. But Simona can take care of this problem by using a little trick She's going to uh, put, engage uh, the engine forward, the stern line starts uh, pulling, the windward line, and this immediately rights uh, the bows and points them straight ahead. So even if we don't have slack, if uh, for some reason uh, we're slow in hauling in the chain, we can use this trick to make sure the boat doesn't uh, rest too much against the other boat. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, right. the maneuver is done. Right. Very good. I mean, the boat is stopped. Now uh, we can calmly step ashore, secure the other line, make sure the chain is uh, in the right position, the distance is right. Yes. Perhaps use a gangplank if we have yes. one. And go to a restaurant. It's morning now. It's not really morning. It's only five minutes later. But let's assume it's morning and we are ready to leave the berth. Again, we have a rather... Uh, well, I wouldn't say strong, but some wind. How many knots, uh, Serena? Uh, eight knots. Eight knots. So, you know, a significant wind uh, coming from the starboard side. But we want to leave the berth. We have already uh, released uh, the leeward line. What we will do is, if necessary, if we want to bring the bows again toward, towards the wind, because we feel we are too close to the uh, other boat, we're afraid that perhaps the fenders will get uh, tangled, we can again use the same trick, right? So we motor forward, turn the wheel, and the bows start turning towards the wind. Once Simona decides the position is right, she's going to uh, tell Andy to release the line. The boat is turning. If there's lots of wind, you have to uh, rev up. Okay, we are now free and Simona is going to go ahead. She has to do this uh, a little bit quickly because, again, the wind could blow us in one direction and the chain is not really helping. Now that we are outside the berth, she can slow down, even stop the boat if necessary and give time uh, to Andre to haul in the chain. Uh, what is important is, again, we don't have tensions on the chain because that makes uh, the wind last work a lot. What we want to do is the uh, chain to be rather perpendicular and if necessary we can use the, uh, the, the motor to help the windlass. Again, Andy is using the signals, he's going 10 meters, 20 meters, in this case reverse, 20 meters, 10 meters. He also uh, can point the direction which the chain is, in this case we know it's straight ahead so it won't be necessary and other signals that uh, you have agreed upon before. Yes, and okay. they are really helpful to me. Okay, the chain is up. We're basically done and ready to leave. Go. Yeah. So we have shown you how to moor stern to using an anchor and also how to leave the purse using an anchor. That's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, click on like and let us know. Also, you can click on the link in the description and subscribe to our digital magazine and also download the article in which we describe more in detail this maneuver. Before I go, I wish to thank Andre and Simona Pasqua. Hey, 
and also special thanks to NSS Charter as they provided the boats, skippers, and also this beautiful marina behind us. So thank you very much. And they really made the video possible. That's about it. The appointment is for the next video. I'm Gero Poole. This is SVN Network.